up, girl? What's good? Oh. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Looks like you lost some of that baby fat. What? <laughs> really? Taller. Really? Yeah. Man, stop playing. Why are you talking shit? It's good to see you. Good to see you. We missed you. Aw, I missed you It's too. been a long time. Oh my goodness. Now you know how a family can be all crazy and shit. Right. All right. Well, it's always oh. good to have one of our same members around. Yeah, for so real. Come on in. Tell hey. me all about Africa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Too much to tell. Hell of luck. When I got there, I couldn't believe it, man. I felt like I'd never seen the clouds before. Like, the sky was a different shade of blue. And the people, beautiful, warm. Mm -hmm. Felt right, you know, like close to home, like a new chapter. True. So, oh yeah, so what I wanted to share with you was, mm -hmm. while I was out there, I was lucky enough to spend some time with a few elders from different African nations and got to really talk with them. Ooh. And to be straight up, they blew my mind. Even my heart, for that matter. It just, it felt more connected, you know? Like they lifted the fog, feel me? I realized that we, who live in Western nations, whatever you want to call it, under systems of European imperialism, that we live within a distinct culture. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this culture shapes the way we see, the way we take in information. Like, the way we are taught to disassociate everything since birth then objectify all that we have separated ourselves from. Other people, nature, our logic and emotions. You know, talking to these elders, they say that we all share a deep We all share a deep rooted spiritual connection with all that exists. We're connected to everything. Every person, plant, animal, every feeling, and all living and non-living are sacred and has meaning. We are the universe, and the universe is within us. We are the universe, and the universe is within us. But here in the US, in this Western bullshit system that we're living in, severs connections. We see our surroundings as objects without meaning. Years ago, when motherfuckers were colonizing the planet, they also colonized minds and information about the world. They spread their image of God. Their definition of power has to do with domination. Our definition of power deals with ability. The Western culturally structured thought of objectifying, disassociating, and ranking on a scale is the only way we have things like sexism, degradation of nature, homophobia, egocentrism, and racism. These systems are based on the denial or unawareness of the spiritual connection that we all share. Take racism, right? It starts with the economic conditions of exploitation and resource theft, fueled by greed and self-entitlement. Then, it's justified in cultural terms. The attacked group is propagandized by this. So racism ends up being used as a tool for imperial expansion and to divide and control. We live in a culture that fears the unknown. It's a culture that only values logic, devalues emotion, 
and the combination of the two that leads to intuition. They can't transcend the material. People live inauthentically and confuse sensation with emotion. And we feed into this by accepting their definitions of reality. Reconnect. Reconnect. Resist. Plant the seeds of peace, dignity, and respect within ourselves. Honor reciprocity and mutual respect with others. If our brain is the center of duality, then our hearts are the center of unity. The heart keeps us alive. Our intuition, compassion, our will to live, emotions, courage, and our love. All flow from it with rhythm. Come from your own heart. There's freedom when the instructions of it are followed. humanity, justice, and truth motivate us. Boy, get off that bike. To look inside and awaken. What are you doing here? I'm riding my bike. No shit. Why are you here? Show me your ID. Hands out of pockets! Hands out of pockets! Awaken anger within yourself. Not petty, insecure anger, but the anger that arises with the deep discontentment of these injustices. It ignites the motivational fire that burns away fear. Yeah, motherfucker! Get up! Get up! Turn around. Open your mouth. Open your fucking mouth. This flame lights the courageous path that leads us to the frontiers of dignity and makes a person unfit to be a slave. from the United States. Everyone going there has the same reason. To become rich and successful. The only dream of making money. This is the same reason Europeans came here, while they colonized these lands, brought us on ships. Same reason they invaded the native nations here. This is the principle of American life and prosperity. Empty, selfish, and greedy. But what does it mean that we live and benefit from the genocide of native peoples? In the shooting death of a young man, New Year's Day at an East Bay BART station by a BART police officer. This 22-year-old Oscar Grant. Let him go! When this teenage boy, who was carrying nothing but soda and Skittles, was shot and killed by a neighborhood watch captain. There is no doubt in our minds that George Zimmerman murdered our son. Zimmerman, a self-appointed neighborhood watchman, shot their son dead. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. In that autopsy, Anderson told the Johnsons he'd found evidence that Kendrick died as the result of a blow to the neck and not accidental asphyxia. That organs, the heart, lungs, liver, etc., were not with the body. The brain? Brain. 
they were all absent. Every organ from the top of Kendrick's head to his pelvis, gone. Searched twice, handcuffed behind his back and double locked. Police say Carter committed suicide. But how does a person reach for a gun and shoot themselves in the head while handcuffed? Carter's mother says her son was left-handed, yet he was shot in the right temple. I think they killed him. I mean, I mean, my son was suicidal. We're the only Native Americans here. You're all illegal. We didn't invite none of you. We should have put that sign up when you son of a bitches came. Yeah, that's right. It represents blood. That represents blood spilled by Native Americans protecting this land from the invaders. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You don't want to hear the goddamn truth, do you? 